friends welcome back so in the previous video i explained about the steps to develop the server client application and the steps to develop the server application so now i am implementing those steps in the program so first if you didn't see in the previous video first try to watch that previous video and come to this video so then you will get a complete clarity on how to develop the uh, socket programming okay so network programming or the socket programming so uh, first try to watch the previous video so uh, before writing the program i want to just introduce uh, i want to uh, tell some methods that i am using in this program so uh, so java p is a tool you know that java p and here uh, java dot net dot socket so in this class whatever the constructors and the methods i'm using so you just because whenever you enter java dot net dot socket so many constructors methods are i'll be able so select only the methods and constructor that you are working on the program so before writing the program i want to use the constructors in my program or the constructor i'm going to use in this program is public socket okay the socket it's a method so with consisting of a string and int so what is the string and int here string is nothing but server address a server address and int nothing nothing but the port number so public socket string comma in which throws some exception so what type of exception it throws throws unknown ex unknown host exception means if suppose that port number is not there some that address is not there then it throws unknown host exception or else it also throws the io exception also okay this is a method socket consisting of server address and the port number and the methods what i am going to use in this program or methods uh public i am going to use the input stream get input stream so input stream is my class name so in this uh, uh, get input stream is a method so if this method is not there then it throws i o exception i o exception so this method i am going to use in the same way public output stream so in the output stream class there is one more method that is get output stream so if this get output stream is not there then it throws io exception any error is occurred in that program means in that task it throws io exception and i am going to use a public synchronize void close method okay so public synchronized so void close also using so this void close is a method which is present in synchronized class so it also throws io exceptions okay so and then uh, these are all uh, used in the java dot uh, net dot sockets in server socket also i am using server socket int so c java p i am taking a java dot net in in place of socket i am just taking server socket so uh, because not only the client application you have to run the ser uh, server applications also right so there in the server socket i am using public uh, server socket is my class name so in that server socket int int it here it's nothing but a port number so and it also throws i o exception and uh, some, some more like socket accept also socket accept is also another method so to accept the data from the client you have to call the accept method which is present in socket class okay in the same way void close void close as a method which throws io exception so these are all the methods i am using in this program students now let's try to work on the program so here is our program so what you have to do means whatever the program here is that so try to write this program on your uh, eclipse ide or in the uh, notepad plus plus so the client program and the server program both you have to be right okay so create a client program client dot java and create an a uh, server program that is a server dot java so first i'll explain the client dot 
java so this is save this program as client.java okay so first try to understand whatever the steps i had explained in the previous video try to implement here so import java.io.star java.net.star so class client a client uh, class is uh, loaded open press executed main method call so try block so this is a task so first what i had explained what are the steps i had explained in the client so first of all create a socket object with server address and port number create a server socket object with server address and port number okay so for that first try to create an address whatever the address or the argument zero that will be copied into the address now means before accessing the address and port try to uh, declare it try to declare it right so address is of string string type so argument zero directly passing and the port port is nothing but an integer but whatever the argument that i am passing is of string type aux is of string type so by using parseint i am converting the string into integer so for that you have to call this class integer dot parseint argument one so port so argument zero is the address argument one is the port this is a declaration i had done here declaration i had done here first string address argument 0 okay and argument 1 is a port number but port is of integer data type and argument is of string data type so for that integer dot parseint i had used so whatever the argument 1 that will be stored in the port now create a socket object socket is my class name s is an object reference so i had created socket object socket object is created socket s is equal to new socket address comma port okay first socket object is created so from up to here socket object created okay so after creating so socket object what i have to do create an output stream why i have to create an output stream because you have to send information to the server right so okay output stream os is equal to s dot get output stream and then you have to create the input stream also why i have to create input stream because you want to receive the in information from server okay i have created input stream is is equal to s dot get input stream okay so output streams and input streams are created up to here you have created socket object string address is declared and port so this this is argument 0 and argument 1 okay so object is created socket object s is created so with the help of the socket object with the help of socket object output stream and input stream are created okay after creating input and output stream what i have to do do the input output operations whatever you want so for that i want to take a two arrays a byte b1 is equal to new byte and byte b2 is equal to new byte a array of bytes b1 and b2 are taken why i had taken byte it allocates a memory on the ram allocates memory on ram if you want to allocate a memory on ram you have to use this syntax byte byte is allocation of ram okay so allocated 100 bytes for b1 and the b2 now perform the operation while true first System out dot print in to the server. I want to send the message to server to server column. What I have to send first read b1 data system dot in dot read b1. So this is going to read the data from command prompt at the at runtime. I am entering a data on the command prompt. Okay, whatever I am entering the uh, from keyboard system dot in dot read means from the keyboard. I am entering a data that is b1. So that I have to write where i have to write on the output stream okay output stream and then b2 whatever the data that the server is sending that i have to read into the input stream so string s1 is equal to new string of b2 okay and string s2 is equal to s1 dot whatever the string that i have okay read from that and i have to trim it trim is nothing but it deletes the extra spaces and allocates the memory only to that particular size of the string. Okay. And removes the extra spaces. 
okay and system dot out dot print ln from server so whatever the data that is coming from the server that has to be print okay here what you are sending you are sending data sending data to server okay i have sent the data to the server but i have to receive what the server is sending so you have to read the data from server okay that you have to place on the new string and that you have to be trim only the a text that is sent by the server has to be displayed rest of the blank spaces everything and garbage values has to be removed so that's why i use this trim okay and that will be passed on to s2 and s2 from server this message is going to be printed exception if this task any error is occurred exception is thrown okay this is client program now let's see the server program what's happening here so what are the steps you have to follow for the server for server create a server socket object with only port number with only port number no need of address so for that don't try the string address because i don't want uh, uh, address so here in the client you have written the address also string address is equal to org 0 and port and here only the port declaration is enough for server int port is equal to integer dot parse int argument 0 okay argument 0 is of string type so that's why using the integer dot parse int so to convert the string into integer okay server socket ss is equal to new server socket port so what it is doing create a server socket object server socket object is created so here server socket object is created now you have to call the accept method to receive request from client okay call socket s is equal to ss dot accept okay i accepted then you have to create input stream as well as the output stream input stream is to receive information from client and output stream is to send the data to the client okay input stream is is equal to s dot socket get input stream and output stream os is equal to s dot get output stream okay then you have to perform all input output operations whatever you want byte b1 is equal to new byte of 100 and byte b2 is equal to new byte of two arrays are created now what is the server doing first it reads the data from b1 so whatever the server is uh, client is sending that it is going to be read so that read or uh, data is placed in string s1 okay so that s1 is going to be trim means only the send information is going to be displayed extra spaces white spaces everything will be removed so that string is written so from client whatever the message that i had read, uh, read that is going to be printed on the command prompt from client the message is printed okay now this is your server turn to client i need to send what i have to send here you have to read b2 data and write that b2 data read, read b2 data where from keyboard from keyboard you are entering the data on the command prompt and that you are going to be right here that you are going to be right here so if any error is occurred then the exception will be thrown so now let's see how this program is executed on the command prompt okay so try to execute this program on the command prompt then you will get uh, get the clarity even eclipse also you can do so output window okay open two out command prompts two output windows okay one is the client window and there is a server window so minimize these two keep it at side by side okay minimize these two and click keep it at side by side on your screen okay so on the client window what you are going doing doing is java client is your client is your what is this client it's a class name java client what you have to give you have to give the port uh, address and the port number what is the address address is nothing but the local host only my system uh, address is local host okay port number is let's take 2000 java client local host 2000 and enter whenever you place the enter it comes a message like to server okay okay to server what you here you need to type a message hello let's take to server is a message appear then you need to type a message hello from the keyboard now 
in the server window open java server is your class name sir, uh, file name server so here no need of address anyhow it is coming from this only so no need of address only the port number 2000 is the port number entered okay so then from client so whatever the message you have typed here that will be appeared here hello okay and here from server and here to client so whenever you received a message hello you can send a message to the client what how are you so this message will be passed here and from server it receives a message how are you so again if you press the enter to server so whenever it to server then type a message i am fine okay this message will goes to here from client it receives a message server is receives i am fine after that you if you press the enter to client again program successful any message program successful okay to client a message is passing from server it receives a message program successful so this is how the output will be appeared the server uh, client and server applications so you have to open two command prompts and try to execute that and you can see the result on the screen please students try uh, write these two programs java program one is saved it as a client.java and another saved it as a server.java okay both programs has to be executed at the same time okay execute in this way whatever the program i had written just copied that program and uh, execute uh, written on write it on notepad plus plus still if you are facing any doubts please let me know i will clarify your doubts okay so if you are getting a, any errors or the doubts please uh, write it on the comment box still if you are facing doubts means i will show this program on the uh, system and i'll show you the execution part also thank you